Good evening. We want to thank all of you for attending our Teacher of the Year nominee virtual reception. My name is Charlene Van Allen. I'm the communications uh, manager here at SCOE. Thank you so much, teachers, for joining in on screen and microphone, and then also for our audience who is here as well. Um, we're especially proud of our Teacher of the Year program here at SCOE and the outstanding teachers we've had represent the county office. I want to congratulate all of the SCOE teachers who were nominated for 2023. It's because of your hard work, your dedication, and your connection with students that someone thought highly enough of you to take the time and write, write in a recommendation. Right now, it's my pleasure to introduce Superintendent Dave Gordon, who will say a few words. Thank you, Charlene, and, uh, and welcome everyone, and welcome Teachers of the Year. And it's such an honor to be with all of you today because you, you are at the heart uh, of what we do every day, whether remotely or in the classroom. And we're filled with gratitude for what you do every day. And that's what the Teacher of the Year program represents. It really represents all of our teachers and all of the hard work that they do and the love and guidance that they give to, to all of our students. And, and, so, and so many of you uh, are life changers and life protectors uh, for, for our young people. So, so we, are, we are so pleased and proud to have a vehicle through which we honor you. And, and again, where our teacher of the year represents all of our wonderful teachers uh, in SCOE. Uh, we're so happy our kids are back in the classroom, uh, finally. And uh, before I go any further, I want to introduce uh, Trustee Bina Lefkowitz, who's a member of our uh, Board of Education. And we're very, for we're very fortunate to have both an active and a very caring, involved Board of Education that, that supports us. And I've been around in this business a long time, uh, and I can't tell you how much it means to our organization to have board members that not only uh, are behind us, but who understand the work uh, that, all of, that all of you do. They care about you, they care about our young people, but more than that, they know what the work is and they know how much dedication it takes to be in, in the work. Uh, teaching is, is in my heart. I've, I've done this work for, for a long time. I started as a sixth grade teacher in the Bronx of New York um, many, 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 many years ago. Uh, and it's really a thrill for me to get out and, and visit our classrooms. I had the chance to visit a number of special education classrooms last week with, uh, with Michael Cast. It, it, was, it, was it was a delight for me. Uh, and I learn something new every day when I visit when I visit classrooms, and it's it's very it's very inspiring to me. It takes a special person to do this work, and that's why each of you is here today. Uh, and you should be honored that uh, you were nominated by by your peers, uh, by your by your colleagues, and we're really pleased to have this opportunity to uh, to recognize you in whichever one of you wins the Teacher of the Year Award for 2023, uh, you will represent the whole of our outstanding teaching staff uh, here at SCOE. So we're, we're pleased to uh, recognize all of you. And uh, I wanna thank uh, Charlene and communications department. And I wanna thank Jerry Jones and his team for setting up the, uh, the, the video, all of the video work, and as well as the processes that go into uh, uh, all of the remote work that we do. Uh, hopefully next time we get together, uh, it will be in person. But again, congratulations uh, from the bottom of our hearts to, to all of you. And uh, let me throw it back to, uh, let me throw it back to Charlene. Thank you, Superintendent Gordon. Before we introduce the nominees, I wanted to share a little bit about the selection process. 
Our, um, our panel members for interviews are all SCOE colleagues, including several former teachers of the year. And also we have Marty Martinez um, or one of his colleagues from the School of Education. Marty's gonna be uh, coming on a little bit. He's on the screen and you'll be hearing from him. So our panel members will take into consideration both written uh, to one page essays and virtual interviews when recommending a teacher of the year to represent SCOE, both at the county level and also at recognition events. And also I'd like to introduce Nancy Hirota. Nancy is the chairperson for the county level selection process, which uh, is a little more grueling and a lot more essays. So thanks Nancy for taking that on. I'm gonna send each of you the details tomorrow uh, morning and I really hope you'll participate. Even if you've gone through the process before, this just might be your year. And at this time, I'd like to turn it over to Marty Martinez, who will introduce each of our outstanding nominees. Marty comes to us from SCOE School of Education. It's a partner in both the SCOE and County Teacher of the Year programs. Many teachers have benefited from the programs that School of Ed facilitates, and their directors are kind enough to give up their time and facilitate the interview process for the SCOE Teacher of the Year. So Marty, I'm gonna turn it over to you. Thank you, Charlene. And um, just have to say what an honor it is to be with all of you tonight, to say thank you for what you do every day to support our students and families um, uh, that, that SCOE serves. And so thank you. and. Uh, really appreciate being here. Um, also, I'd like to take a moment just to thank all of those um, who nominated our Teachers of the Year, who took that time to recognize the outstanding work that our teachers do. Um, and hopefully many of you are here watching tonight. Um, we appreciate the time and just uh, really this way that you recognize our outstanding teachers of serve SCOE. Um, tonight, we're gonna, you're, each of you are going to have a chance to introduce yourself. And so when I announce your name, we'd like you to make sure your video is on, which all of you have it on now. And then we're going to ask you to answer, to respond to our prompt that Charlene sent you. And that prompt is, at the end of this school year, what do you hope your students remember most about you as a teacher? And so we'll introduce your name. You'll respond to that prompt. I'll ask you that. And then we're going to read a quote. Uh, a, um, a quote from um, each of your nominators that they said about you. And so um, our first nominee that we're going to be hearing from tonight is Tamara Allen. And Tamara is a special education teacher in the infant, infant development program. And so Tamara, um, you get to be up first. Can you uh, respond to what you hope your students remember most, most about you as a teacher at, at the end of this school year? Sure. Um, Marty, as you might remember, I work for the Infant Development Program, and so our program is a little bit unique in that we serve students that are birth to age three. So there's a real possibility that they may not remember me, but their families certainly will. And so what I hope the family remembers is more um, an emotion or a feeling that is evoked with their time having been spent in the infant program. So I am hopeful that they feel truly listened to and acknowledged. I hope that the family felt respected personally and culturally, and I would like the family to feel that they were supported and had knowledge of resources that they can rely on in the future. And finally, I would really like for the family to feel empowered as they continue to raise their wonderful children whose lives I had the honor of being a part of for a very short time. Thank you, Tamara. And um, here's what Tamara's nominator said. Tamara dedicates herself to making SCOE's infant development program one of the best in California through leadership and education. And our next nominee is Jamie Crum, uh, also a special education teacher in the infant development program. And Jamie, I'm gonna give you a chance to answer the same question. Um, what do you hope your, your students remember about you at the end of this year? Yeah, thanks Marty for the opportunity. I wanted to, um, I'm also an uh, early childhood special education teacher in the infant development program. And so our students are not just the children, but the whole family. And it's important to me that, um, that when uh, I run into parents and I hear things that they, they have memories of and of me during our time together, I hope that they would 
have felt that they learned to celebrate their children's developmental victories, that they would really learn, you know, where their child is, where their child's going, and know when to celebrate when they meet those, those goals that they set for them. That's important. And also, I hope that they feel empowered to see themselves as experts. They're the child's experts, and I hope that they would, from the time they spend with us and with me, that they would learn information and confidence to be able to, to know that they're their child's expert. And lastly, I want them to feel um, that they can be effective advocates for their child's learning and their inclusion in our community. And that's, those are the three things I hope most I'm a member for by my students. Thank you, Jamie, appreciate that. And uh, Jamie's nominator said, Every single solution to a problem that Jamie produces demonstrates a deep understanding of needs and a collaborative approach to meeting those needs. So congratulations, Jamie, thank you. Our next nominee is Terry Edinburgh, um, also a special education teacher from the Foundations Academy. And Terry, I'm gonna ask you to answer the same question. At the end of the school year, what do you hope your students remember most about you as a teacher? Thank you and hi, everybody. The thing that I want my students to walk away with is knowing that I taught them how to be resilient, a fighter, and that their disability does not confine them to the COVID protocols and restrictions that we faced the last couple of years. I want my students to know that they are indeed learners and that they can be lifelong learners and that no matter what is happening in the world around them, that they are truly gifted and that they can. No matter what it is, I want them to know that they can. Not that they can't, but they can. Thank you, Terry. And Terry's nominator said, Terry is an exemplary leader within the classroom environment as well as within SCOE. Congratulations, Terry. Thank you. Our next nominee is Kevin Jordan, and, and Kevin is not with us tonight, so he won't have the opportunity to, to make a statement. But uh, Kevin's nominator said, Mr. Jordan is always positive and full of energy that is ever ending throughout the day. And so congratulations uh, to Kevin Jordan. Our next nominee is Bonita, excuse me for the noise. Um, also a special education teacher with the Foundations Academy. And Bonita, I'm going to give you a chance to answer that same question about what you hope your students remember you about you at the end of the school year. Well, hello, I'm, I'm Benita. Um, and I, I teach um, junior high school level. So I have um, sixth and seventh and eighth grade. I kind of sometimes I have ninth grade, but um, I teach at McCaffrey Middle School in Galt. And um, I kind of like, um, I, I have to write things out and I kind of treated the question like, um, like if the students um, can express, you know, to me and even to my staff, but I, I put it um, kind of a letter to me. And um, I just wrote, um, thank you for encouraging us to be independent in all, all we do and to communicate our needs and wants through our own individualized mode of communication. You have high expectations of us, but you knew that we can do, you, that we can meet those expectations. Um, you celebrate our successes and encouraged us when skills were challenging. You never gave up on us and you always look for ways to help us be successful. You know how to use our strengths and motivators to make, to make learning fun and engaging. Thank you for respecting our individual personalities. So. If they wrote the letter, that's great. Thank you, Bonita. And uh, Bonita's nominator said, Bonita strives to develop positive relationships with her coworkers, students, and their families. She's focused on collaborating with parents and sharing her knowledge. Congratulations, Bonita. Our next nominee is Pedro Marquez from the Care Intervention Program at Center High School. And Pedro, I'm gonna let you answer that same question about what you hope your students remember about you at the end of the school year. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, 
And good evening to all. Thank you, uh, Superintendent Gordon and uh, Trustee. And I messed this name up, so I'll say Trustee L. And uh, all you very important people for being here tonight. Uh, for, for me personally, it's just to simply just let the uh, students know that I'm, the, I'm, I'm always there for them. Uh, as you said before, I teach a ninth grade care class over at Center High School. So the, um, the focus really is graduation, not, not, not graduation from ninth grade, but rather graduation from high school. So for me, it's always saying, hey, uh, you know, this is just the start, the, uh, if you will, the, uh, you know, the first couple miles of the marathon, if, if you will. So I always want them to know that I'll always be there for them in their journey. Uh, not just not just this year, but next year and the following few years to make sure that uh, they cross that finish line in in a in, in world record time, if you will. So uh, that's uh, that's what I like them to remember. And thank you so much. Thank you, Pedro. And Pedro's nominee nominator said, "Mr. Marquez understands every student's story and adjusts his strategies accordingly, while still having high expectations for all." Congratulations, Pedro. Our final nominee tonight is Julie Wild um, from Juvenile, Juvenile Court Schools at El Centro Junior and Senior High. And uh, Julie, I'll turn it over to you to answer that same question about what you hope your students remember most about you at the end of the school year. Hello, everyone. Um, like Marty said, I teach at El Centro Junior Senior High School, which is inside of a youth detention facility. And when I first thought of this question, uh, what I want my students to remember about me when they leave my class, I thought of, um, I thought of what one of my students said when she nominated me. And it really stuck out to me because she said that um, she has a really hard time trusting adults and that she's been let down a lot during her life and she's been in and out of foster care. And that really stuck out to me because she said that she does trust me and that she knows that when I say I'll do something, that I will do that. Um, and so that is definitely something that I strive to do as a teacher to have that consistency. And um, I have lots of students that come to my classroom into the facility and they're very cynical and distrustful. Um, but it made me really happy to know that I could build this relationship with this student, a relationship built on trust. And she was able to be very successful in class and um, gain more confidence as well. Um, and so I just want my students to know that they can trust me and there are other adults out there as well who they can depend on and who have their back and want to help them and who also care about them. Thank you, Julie. Julie's nominator said, Ms. Wild is a supportive teacher and always pushes kids to do better. She makes sure we have everything we need to be successful. Congratulations, Julie. And uh, Julie was our final nominee. And so I'd like at this time, let's just give a big virtual applause to all of our amazing nominees and say again, thank you and congratulations for representing SCOE. This time I'll turn it back over to Charlene. Thanks, Marty. And please extend our gratitude with the entire School of Education team. Please know how much you are appreciated in the work you do and in your support of the Teacher of the Year program. And a final word to our nominees. We couldn't present your certificates virtually, so Superintendent Gordon has signed them and watch your mailbox at home. We're gonna send them directly to your home. Um, and I'd like, to under, uh, I'd like you to understand that often we have wonderful nominees that choose not to go forward in this process because they feel uncomfortable when the focus is on them. But please know it's more than honoring one teacher. You're representing all of our teachers. Just consider yourself one amazing teacher that's representing the SCOE team of outstanding teachers. So I hope you will go forward and take the next step. And as I said, we're here to help you out in that process. I want to thank you for joining us. Thank you, Superintendent Gordon, Marty, Nancy, and Trustee Lefkowitz for being with us this evening. And we're gonna do something a little cheesy before we log off. We're gonna get like a class picture. It's gonna be kind of like your yearbook picture. Um, so if uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make my nice screen nice and big so I can take a, a nice photo here. 
and everyone's look into your camera. I know it feels awkward because you want to look at everyone else smiling, but everyone would, if you'll look into your camera and have a great smile. Beautiful. Look at the, make sure you to go to www.scoey.net tomorrow. We will have your uh, celebration available and your class photo. Thank you so much, everyone, and have a wonderful evening. Thanks, everybody. Congratulations. Yes, congratulations, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Charlene. Thanks, Marty. Thanks, Charlene. Welcome. Good night. Welcome.